In this tutorial, you'll learn the basics of how to play. Strike craft ready. Objectives are displayed on the left. These are your gameplay goals. Strike confirmed. Move selected units by clicking the right mouse button on a position. Prep for displacement. Hold shift when issuing commands to cue them. Operator Stencom, please confirm negative hostile contacts for your sector. No contacts out here, but silence makes me uneasy. Next, you'll learn how to control the game camera. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Hold the right mouse button and move the mouse to rotate and pitch the camera. Try this now. Press backspace to reset the camera to its default orientation. Panning the camera is just as easy. Press the arrow keys on your keyboard, or hold down the middle mouse button and move the mouse. Pan the camera to the command carrier now. Information about selected units is displayed in the bottom left. Command buttons like attack and move are displayed in the bottom right. Strike and this is a command carrier. It produces units for combat and resourcing. The command carrier is your mobile headquarters, durable but lightly armed. You can press the home or tilde key to select your carrier at any time. Move the carrier to the marked position. Set. Carrier moving. Seal hatches. Ready. Press the F key to focus the game camera on selected units. The camera will follow focused units while still allowing you to zoom and rotate. Strike craft. Pan the camera in any direction to break focus. Press the space bar to open the sensors manager. You can select and move units within the Sensors Manager. Red icons represent enemy units. White icons represent your units. Your selected units are green. Orange and blue triangles represent resources. Blue domes represent the sensor range or vision of your units. Enemy units within contact range are marked with a red circle. As your units get closer, they'll be in sensor range of the enemy. At this point, you will see each enemy unit clearly. Patrol. Receiving. When issuing an attack move command, you'll see a red line drawn between the selected unit and the mouse cursor. When this line appears broken, the selected unit cannot fire on its target. This indicates that high terrain, or an obstacle, is blocking the unit's line of fire. You will therefore have to move units around the obstacle or onto high ground in order to achieve a clear line of fire. Select your light attack vehicles and use them to destroy the enemy units. You can right-click an enemy unit to attack, or press A and left-click to attack move. To command your units to attack a group of enemies, hold the control key and drag a box around the target enemy units. Move order confirmed. Tracking hostile. Strike craft taking effective fire. Hostile strike craft down. I'm ready. Alert. LAV down. Push up to that point. Select the command carrier now. Carrier. The command carrier has a unique power shunting system used to manage combat and production capability. Add all available power to the turret network system. 
Weapon systems online. Hostiles designated. Trackers assigned. Enemy forces are attacking the carrier. Destroy them. Greeting. Green line confirmed. Control group one designated. Charge weapons. Let's move. With the right power distribution, the command carrier can hold its own in combat. On our way. Selecting a unit and pressing the Move or Attack Move command button displays the terrain overlay. While the terrain overlay is active, some terrain is color shaded to display its relative height. The three colors of the terrain overlay represent high ground, low ground, and neutral ground. When a unit takes position on the high ground, it deals extra damage when attacking units on lower terrain. The enemy have deployed armored units. You'll have to find another way to defeat this enemy force. Railguns are most effective when firing from long range. However, they can be easily overwhelmed by short range strike craft like light attack vehicles. Identified contact. Designated hostile strike copies. Coordinates confirmed. Copy. Target set. Assign a control group by holding the control key and pressing a number key. Can you confirm visually? Select the units in a control group by pressing the corresponding number key. Use the boost ability on your light attack vehicles to intercept the enemy. Green. Select the light attack vehicles and left click the boost ability button. Then issue a move command. Clear to move and engage. Ready. Move order confirmed. As vehicle crews score kills in combat, they'll earn veterancy. Veterancy improves combat ability. To see veterancy, select a vehicle and mouse over the ability button in the lower right corner of the command panel. Veteran units also have a veterancy badge visible on their health bar in the main game viewpoint. Repair and preserve veteran units. When your forces are outnumbered, veteran troops can turn the tide of battle. Contact. Enemy armor. Bearing designated. Op ready. Coordinates confirmed. Reading. enemy has deployed a mixed attack force. No single unit type will excel at destroying this target. However, aircraft can attack this force with impunity. Select the command carrier to launch aircraft. Launch aircraft by selecting the carrier and clicking the launch ability button. After left clicking the button, left click a target location to launch your aircraft. While deployed, aircraft can be selected and issued commands just like other vehicles. Once their ammunition is depleted, aircraft will automatically return to the command carrier to reload and repair. Strike fighter coordinates dialed in. Strike. Excellent work. You have completed the tutorial. You're ready to explore the vast deserts of Kaepernick.